So line out throw. And uh, it's parried down. No more than that. By Becuous. They're uh, on the back foot, Southland, but at least they have clean ball. As McIntosh rumbles it up a metre or so. No more than that. Telematonga. And freeze it as soon as he hits the ground. That creates the quick ball and the uh, forward momentum that uh, South are now enjoying. Not able to get too far, but uh, to Polly, make sure he's got his arms well and truly wrapped around it when taking on the defenders. Cleared quickly by Adams and Ede. And some nice passes fired out the back line, allowing Lynn to come in at real pace. He's shown that pace in an earlier game, and that set up the try on the outside. And that's a wonderful finish. First real opportunity finished off by Elliot Dixon. So Scott Ede attempting to convert to Southland's first try, which was scored in fine style. Warwick Lynn really making an impression in his early games, pre-season games, and surely a candidate now for a starting spot. He continues like this. Scott Ede successful. And Southland hit the lead by seven points to six. Tanaka sees the ball and had options either way. He went the uh, way of Hugh Blake. And they remain 10 metres to the left of the uprights. No closer to the goal line. Charging forward. Advantage still being played in favour of South for Otago, I should say. They won't need it because the fleet-footed Michael Collins crosses the line under the bar. So another simple one for Hayden Parker to add two more to the score. Otago back in the lead by 13 points to seven. Got about 15 minutes remaining in this first half. And restart is a long one. Ensel calls for it. And a bit off balance when he'd caught it, but uh, clever enough. Brings it safely to ground. His return kick goes to his opposite Warwick Lynn. And himself goes high. This time a lot more shallow than the first. Taken with some skill by Popoli'i and supported by his uh, fellow winger. Fortai took it into the exchange. Here's the run on the burst from Hayden Park and real gas, beautiful hands. He set up this try in magnificent fashion. And that was a lovely run. It'll be Peter Breen's name on the score sheet, but the pat on the back to the first five, Hayden Parker, who made it all happen. Uh, Parker's kicks really haven't tested his ability today, but he won't be complaining as he makes uh, that one safe. Another seven points in the bag to Otago. Retaining the ball as uh, Otago through the hands. Craig Miller, who's uh, had a lot of touches, uh, the prop has. And each time, he's made sure his team's made some forward progress. Big hit on Franklin. Now the chance for Southland to turn over some ball. They looked as though they may have done so. And uh, it's ended up in a penalty to Otago. And uh, they won't be turning down these three. Well, Hayden Park has not missed one yet, and he's not going to here either. So he'll maintain his perfect record, and it'll be the ideal finish to the first 40 for Otago, who deserve uh, the lead, which is now 23 points to seven after 40 minutes. And uh, one management team will be far happier than the other, and it's the team in blue and gold that lead into the break. So Coltman... To the back and Tanaka just loves getting that ball away very quickly indeed and this is why they're on the front foot so often Park has made another break and the hands are good too and Popoli is so close to the line if not over it he is Buxton Popoli the try and uh, once again Parker the instigator change of direction running out of space on this near side the crowd haven't had much to cheer about for the home side, but now they may shortly. Right in position to threaten the line and vantage in favour. Two of party places it. By far the most threatening for South and for some time, but they lost the ball in control, but they haven't lost the advantage of the penalty, and that continues. Hardy, Hardy turns, gets support from Dixon, but a couple of uh, 
Players in blue and gold made it hard for him too. A party will offload to Beckuis and he'll score. So at last a breakthrough for Southland and uh, well enjoyed by this crowd here. So Scott Ead with a simple conversion. And uh, makes it seven. So 28 to 14. We'll restart the match. And a try apiece in the second half. Southland looking a little better. And uh, those reserve players making a difference. Dixon started the game and has looked lively. And David Hall on again. So there's caps mounting for those experienced players. Charge down, big trouble here for Southland. It should be a simple try, and it is. How often have we seen that uh, in this season? And it'll be Michael Collins coming up with the points. No, Parker, just the one miss so far from the very difficult wide angle. He's in about uh, 15 metres closer this time round. No mistake. Throw in, parried back, and the new halfback on for Otago is... Uh, John Renton, and he's quickly to the ball for the second time and getting it away to TJ Yuani, who's without a number, but uh, no mistaking that gentleman in his bullocking run, running style. McFad is up from the back and tries to stay on his feet, does so effectively for a tie. Also able to maintain possession, but get no ground. And reserves on from both sides, so it'll be a real test of uh, just fitting into the team pattern. Yuani, such a great Highland this season. So too did Parker when he had the opportunities. Oh, what beautiful understanding. Peter Breen scores another try, and it's that combination with the first five that's been so effective all afternoon. So Parker... Just the one miss, and that's all there'll be so far because that was simple for his standards. And the lead goes to 42 to 14 with 15 minutes left to play. Now Southland need to score now if they have any chance in this match. You've got to score seven points and do it quickly. And Fatalova wants to be the man to do so, but immediately put to deck. Kennedy quickly there, though. They've got a uh, chance. No extra numbers wide, but they've got some talented playmakers. And that's what they'll be relying on to make the break. Getting very close, if not over, and they are. Round of applause for the try scorer. And it looks like the halfback Kennedy finished it off. Hmm. And over. So seven points will be much appreciated by the hometown support, which is huge today at Gore. Watch the space. This kick is a shocker. It will come down and be knocked on by Otago, so the advantage with uh, Southland probably over by now, even with that little break from Scott Ede. Kinnatari out to Hardy. Hardy able to pop it inside to Fatty Lowe for the good tackle around the, the ankles. Slowed him down. McConnell with that tackle, but uh, it's still in the hands of Southland, who look uh, far more invigorated now. Here's the chance. Here's the class we know that Carter Fahinga can deliver, and he delivers uh, in style. And Ed at some angle with a test. Skills off the tee more than uh, previous kicks. And uh, the ARs like it, as do the hometown supporters. It's so the last chance for Otago to score some more points to add to their already impressive tally. And they'll want to make the last statement because, of course, Southland is the last try scorer in this game. But uh, this is looking more promising for the visitors as they drive close to the line and uh, they must be precariously close to over it. They've got good control of the ball and that should be awarded a try and is... Well, the final act of this game will be carried out by the player of the day, and emphatically so, and that's Hayden Parker. And deserves these extra two points. Of course, first-class fixture, all these points go towards your personal first-class record. And he has been a standout. Off the uprights away. 
but that does bring the game to a close here at the Gore Showgrounds. Well supported by the local fraternity here. And Otago, the deserved winners by 47 points to 28 in this final warm-up game pre-ITM Cup.